Hey everybody, this is Scott Ford from MrFordsClass.com and uh, thanks for watching this. I just sat for the CompTIA A Plus certification exam, the Core 1, and this was the 220-1001 exam, so it's the Core 1 exam. I'm currently out in San Antonio doing some training actually for CompTIA on a contract uh, teaching students ITF, A Plus, uh, secure Network Plus, and Security Plus. Anyways. I just sat, like I said, for the 1001 core exam. Some initial reactions to it. Uh, I've taken a lot of the A-plus exams over, over obviously my career developing this stuff. And this was probably one of the more fairer exams. Uh, you didn't have to go in there with a lot of root memorization. Uh, back in the old days, I used to have my students learn all the IRQs, all the ports, all sorts of just 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 a content dump. And they've really kind of done away with that. There's a lot more of understanding and putting things to use. Now you still have to know some terms, you still have to know some basic ports, but overall this was more of a testing of can you put things uh, in, in action. Now there were a couple of simulation questions and I can't obviously go into them too much because of um, you know, non-disclosures and things like that. And you know I don't want CompTIA to get too angry at me. But uh, there were th about three or so simulation questions. One I thought was very fair. I thought it was uh, very uh, realistic, very reasonable. Then there were two that were, one was kind of meh as far as what they wanted to do. And one was just flat out wrong. Um, they actually wanted you to do something that was against best practices, which uh, I'm going to hopefully uh, complain about to somebody and they can at least make it so you do good practices on it, but it was definitely bad practices. Uh, some things that I highly suggest doing is when you sit for the exam, there is a timer, obviously, and skip right off the bat, skip all the simulation questions. Don't do the simulation questions first. Flag them for review move on to the multiple choice questions, answer the ones that you can easily answer, flag the ones that you can't. Remember, this is a timed exam. And then when you get to the end of the test, there is an area where you can go back and review those flag questions. And that's where you can make up that time. So again, at the very beginning, when you sit for the exam, do not do the simulation questions, flag them for review, move forward, and then when you're done, go back and um, answer the questions. I can say that um, Professor um, uh, Messer, I, I, so, I've known this guy for years. I, I, sorry if I mispronounced your name. But the Professor Messer videos right now on YouTube are uh, some of the best ones on the uh, 1001, 1002 certifications. Until I get my new videos up, which is going to be a while because I'm a little bit busy. Uh, definitely check out his videos. Very, very helpful. Um, trying to see what else can help you out here uh, that I can disclose. When you go take the test, you know, take your time, enjoy <laughs> if you can, and uh, that's pretty much it. Now I'm just starting to ramble. So for those of you who are fixing to sit for it, it's a brand new test. I wish you the absolute best of luck, and uh, goodbye for now.